Would you like to change the look and feel of your yawl forms? Welcome to this new episode of the series of yaw tutorials. My name is Andreas Hense and today I'll show you how to customize the look and feel of your yaw forms. You may want to do that because you want to match it your corporate design or another application or just to make it look more beautiful. And I'll show you with a simple example, some very simple steps, how to do that. So let's go back to the studio. Okay, I'm going to show you step by step what we are doing to change the look of this yaw form. So um, in the first place, we have the standard yaw form here and we have the workflow specification open. This is the one that you can find in the supplementary material. And um, first we are going to change some things at decomposition level. So um, we um, select this uh, variable here in the editor, go down to extended attributes, and now um, we can see what has been changed. They are all in, um, in, in bold here, in boldface. And so the first thing we do is we change the background color of this task and um, this is done here by background color uh, to white and um, we can have a color picker here and choose any color in the spectrum here. Next thing we include a background image. Background image um, can be referenced by a valid URL. This is um, something from the internet and um, this is something that can be put into tiles and you just um, have to watch out that the file size isn't too big and then this will work. This is the background image. Next we will hide the YAWL banner at the top. This is this check mark here, hide banner. Then we will hide the title up here which you can barely see and also the title and the label, and the label um, um, is, is this one, so um, we go to this here, and now the label uh, we put in a blank here, and title we put in the blank as well, and that's why they have disappeared now. And uh, the next thing is um, now we are going to um, the extended attributes at, uh, at variable level, so we open the variable dialog, and in this variable here, we are clicking on this extended attributes icon here. And here we can see that we have changed the font and um, the um, sans serif, uh, the 24, and also the color. So this is already here in this, um, in this image. And um, the next thing is we um, are going to put an image above, and the image above is again a URL, so this is image above. And the last thing is um, we are going to hide this standard input field and um, we are going to put in a text below and the text below is um, some standard text uh, including um, some variables here with this syntax with a dollar sign and here we can access our decomposition variables and um, this gives the final result, which is this. That was easy, wasn't it? So there will be some more videos on extended attributes. So if you want to see them, stay tuned. See you later.